how to enjoy a cushy life when we come back. Sarah Savro is a top model who travels the world for fashion shoots, but she also has a profitable sideline, making pillows. These are not your average pillows. You don't lay on them. They're made to be admired and passed down from generation to generation, like works of art. Yeah, there, there are other people who actually make vintage pillows. But what I think makes me uh, stand apart from the other designers that I actually market the pillows as art. I name every pillow. Um, and I also tell you the history of the textiles. This one is uh, 18th century that I actually purchased in Paris. It was a wall hanging, and as you can see, it's very tattered. And it was very indicative in that period for them to do everything by hand. What they would do is take a piece of cardboard, and underneath the cardboard, they would put a piece of rope, as you can see here. Sarah started making her pillows as a hobby. I had no idea that people would want to buy them. Like the first time someone commissioned me to make them, I'm like, you want to buy my pillow? Now she has a thriving business called Serafina with celebrity clients like Lenny Kravitz. The prices aren't cheap, but the reason is simple. They're made to order with vintage fabrics that are centuries old, rare, and full of history. I like vintage because they're original. I know that a lot of other people aren't going to have them, and I also feel like they carry a sense of energy. She designs everything herself and gives them names. This one is called Hearts. This one is Sunlight. This is Golden Leaf. This one is called Calmness. This one is Deliverance. This one is Vietnam. This one is called Champagne. This one is called Chinese. I designed these wedding pillows. They are pillows for the rings. You put the rings on these ties, and I put ties on them so that they are secure. And I decided to do this so that people can have them as heirlooms, because we don't have grandmothers anymore sitting there sewing quilts, so, and people aren't wearing their mother's dresses, so this is something they can pass down from generation to generation. And wall hangings, too. Sarah is sure to find continued success as an entrepreneur with a passion for pillows. I'm taking something old and I'm giving it new life. And it's like getting, it's like maybe before it was going to be discarded, no one was going to look at it or think of it as art. And so I'm taking something that was really old and now I'm saying, hey man, this is art, look at this. 